In today's video, we are going to be looking at dilution 2, and that's how to work out the concentration uh, of a substance which has been diluted by adding water. So this first example, we've got 500 centimetres cubed of water, which is added to 50 centimetres cubed of a 0.5 mole per litre sodium hydroxide solution. So the first thing that we're always going to work out is the dilution factor. This is not given by a ratio, but this is given by actual numbers or volumes of liquids. Uh, in this case, water and sodium hydroxide. So dilution factor is equal to the final volume. Now, the initial volume is 50 plus I added 500. So that gives me a final volume of 550 centimetres cubed. The initial volume that we were given of the sodium hydroxide was 50. So when I put that into my calculator, 550 divided by 50, that gives me a dilution factor of 11. So that's step number one. The next step that we have to do is to calculate the concentration of the diluted sodium hydroxide. So that's the final um, concentration. Final is equal to initial concentration divided by dilution factor. We worked out the dilution factor as 11. And the initial concentration is given in the text as 0 0.5 moles per litre. So when I put that into my calculator, I have 0 0.5 divided by 11. That means that the final concentration of my solution is 0 0.045 moles per litre. And to double check, we can see that the diluted is a lower concentration than my initial. In example two, we do the exact same steps. The first thing we have to work out is the dilution factor. So the dilution factor is equal to the final volume over the initial. So the initial volume that we've been given of the sodium hydroxide solution is 40. 40 plus 250 gives me a final volume of 290. So I do 290 divided by 40, and that will give me a dilution factor of 7.25. The second step is to work out the final concentration, which is equal to initial over dilution factor. We just worked out the dilution factor as 7.25. The initial concentration is given in the text as 0 0.5. So I do 0 0.5 divided by answer. And that gives me the final concentration of my solution as 0 0.06. If we were to round this, it'd be 0 0.069 mole per litre. So here's the third example you can have a go at. Remember, dilution factor is equal to the initial volume. In this case, it was 100 centimetres cubed. The final is where you add the water plus your initial, so that'll give me 575. I'm gonna put that into my calculator. 575 divided by 100. That gives me a dilution factor of 5.75. We then want to work out the final concentration. Final is equal to initial over dilution factor. We've worked out that the dilution factor was 5.75. The initial concentration we were given was 0 0.25. So when we put that into the calculator, 0 0.25 divided by 5.75, that gives me a new concentration and the final concentration of 0 0.043 moles per litre. This past paper question is from the Advanced Higher 2018 Multiple Choice 24. 200 centimetres cubed of water is added to 50 centimetres cubed of a 2 mole per litre sodium hydroxide solution. What is the concentration of the diluted sodium hydroxide solution in moles per litre? So the first step we always do is we work out the dilution factor. Dilution factor is equal to the final over the initial, the initial volume we were given was 50. 50 plus 200 gives me 250. I'm going to put that into the calculator. I have 250 divided by 50, and that gives me a dilution factor of 5. 
Step number two, I'm wanting to work out the final concentration, which is equal to the initial concentration over the dilution factor. I've just worked out the dilution factor as five. My initial concentration um, is given as two. Two divided by five gives me a final concentration of 0 0.4 moles per litre. So the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer B.